mirror dirtier than the mud. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing this hairstyle for you today in depth. So I hope you enjoy it. I don't know if this is the right angle or whatever. But we're just going to continue with the... So my hair was a little bird nest. As you can see, it's a freaking mess. So I'm just going to wet my hair with this water, obviously. Because you can't do nothing in your hair when it's dry. Like I mean, unless you blow dried it out. That makes sense. But anyway, I'm just going to damp it up. You know, like not like soap. Just, you know, damp. Now I'm going to use this conditioner that I use as a leave-in because it's like really light. So, um, <laughs> so I'm going to put this in my hand and yeah, it was kind of hard. So I'm going to use that much and I'm just going to rub it in my hair throughout my hair evenly because it's kind of hard to get product in your hair evenly. So yeah. So now I'm going to pick one of my wide tooth combs because you already know what I'm saying. Like you already know, wide tooth combs is the best. So now um, I'm just going to detangle my hair so it can be nice and easy to work with. Like I said right here. And um, yeah, like I feel like it's a lot easier now because my hair is short. So when, I, when it was longer, it was like more... It was more split ends to try to rake through, so it was kind of hard. Now it's just like going straight through, so yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to take my hair and I'm just going to, um, yeah, brush it back like this. Oh my god, that's not even funny, yo. My edges are slowly going back, like you can tell. I, I just can't. So we all know how to part the sum up, sum down hairstyle, whatever. So that's basically what I did. And um, I'm just gonna put the rest of the hair in the bag because I don't want, because normally when I do my hair, I always get like little pieces of other hair from the other sections. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't understand why I'm getting this other hair. So you gotta make sure it's pushed all the way back. So I'm going to take a rat tail comb, of course, because that's the best comb in the world, um, right next to the wide tooth comb. Anyway, so, uh, I forgot. Okay, so I'm parting it in the middle because I'm doing, um, as you probably couldn't see because of the video, I mean, because of the picture, because I had like a bad picture right there. Um, it's going to be two sections of three boxes of rubber bands. So you're going to see, I'm not even going to. Um, you're gonna see. make sure I don't have any other hair from the other sections because it frustrates me so much like when I'm trying to like like I don't even know I just hate it I hate when I get hair from other sections into sections that it don't belong in so these color rubber bands are trash I'm gonna show you later but here go to MVP eco styler you already know so that's brand new so I had to open it and um yes it's just it, it's just everything so I'm going to take my edge brush and I'm going to put some water on it and I have to put gel because I have to put gel on the sections so they won't come out so easily and um, I just brush it on there easily nice and smooth and whatever so it just stays on there and um, yeah make sure there's no flyaways and stuff like that because I hate them flyaways and I still be getting like pieces from other sections even if I put gel, like, even if I put gel and put it in the right section. <laughs> Look at me trying to take my edges out, like, nothing is coming out, oh my god, like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know, because I think it's because of that 
slick side part ponytail hairstyle. That's what really put my edges back. Because I always had it on that side. So that made my edges go back. Like it, it's only in that one little part where I put the part at. Like y'all got to pay attention. See if y'all hair is receding. Because mine definitely did. This is what I got so far. Oh my god, I made a mistake. Look at that. Ew, I'm so trash at doing these. I will fix that, but I don't feel like it. So, we're going to move on. So, now I'm just going to get these little ponytails out of the way. I have to start on the next sections to part. So, I like, as I said, I don't want no hairs in where they don't belong. Like, that's so annoying. Okay, so we part in some triangles on the side. So these are gonna be the little braids that hang down because I think that's cute. So I just did that. If you think it look like antennas, like my mom said it look like antennas. So like she really, like, cause when I do my protective style, she be saying, cause I leave like two braids out. She be saying it look like antennas, but my mom always saying something. So like, whatever, I don't really care. Cause she's like, she, she real, she different. So she don't really like the hairstyles that I do. But, um, yo, look at my freaking edges. Yo, it looks terrible. Anyway, anyway, let me, let me just. That's what I forgot to do. I was supposed to put oil, um, on my edges before I start this hairstyle. But I, like, like, I had the oil set out, but I literally didn't even. But anyway, right here I'm just going to detangle my hair so I can start braiding. And oh my god, I wish I could braid this fast, but now it's fast forwarded. And now I'm just going to take my hairs and um, curl it with my finger. Like with the rest of the gel that come out of the braid. Like I just curl it and it comes into like a little curl or whatever. But that curl does not last, trust me, it does not last at all. Like it, it lasts like... I don't know, just it just don't last. Like after like the end of the day, it'd be like real frizzy and big and fat. So yeah. Like you can tell already, like it's getting like fatter. Like it's coming out of the thing, like out of the, the little coil I put. So I think I just gotta put more gel. Ew, you can tell where I messed up at. Like as I said, ew, it looks terrible. <laughs> Yo, I need to shut up. I need to stop saying that about myself. Okay, but now I'm going to put in some twist. So I'm doing a two strand twist right here. So I can, So okay, so they last longer if you twist them. And please don't make fun of my lips. I know, <laughs> my lips is just, okay. So they last longer when I put, oh shoot, I have to go. My coach is on her way. Oh my God, okay. So as you can see, um, I have connected the the twist from like okay. So I put it in an X, and you see I just put it in an X like that. And basically, you just connect it to the next one, right where the uh, rubber band is at on the next one that you're connecting it to. So it becomes like one almost. So right here, you can see I have con like I'm connecting them together. You can see it is in the X now. So it's a nice little pattern. So there it goes right there. That one, I messed up that one a little bit. Okay, so right here, you can see that I grabbed some hair and I'm about to put it into a ponytail. So I didn't just grab the braids, like I grabbed some hair from the side too because it's not enough. So you need like a full enough ponytail so it can look like a some up some down hairstyle. So where I parted it in the beginning, you're going to grab more out from the back so it can be more full. So what I was 
was talking about in the beginning is that these rubber bands are like really trash like they break really fast so that's all I was saying um so I don't use them for like the crossing parts but yeah so they're like they're cheapy basically you know what I'm saying so uh yeah yay we have our finished product this is what my hair looks like in Yes, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.